Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Me and You on Campus with Kanvi. You know how we do it on the show. This is where we, you know, we discuss, we analyze, and of course, we bring in exceptional guests um, from the campus environment and of course, outside the campus environment. You know that this is a must show. Of course, you know. Now, today promises to be amazing as I have an exceptional guest. She is a student of Federal Polytechnic OCO. She is an event planner, comes out, and of course, she manages Sachet and Bottled Water Factory. I just can't wait for you to meet her because she's someone that is really doing well for herself and of course has society so guys sit tight don't go no more we'll right after a short break up my name is Kanvi hey guys yes the show just got started if you're just joining us well my guest today is the one and only Jane Gonadi. Hope I didn't want that anymore. Okay, at, at that point, I was trying to be very careful so I don't just say something else. What's the meaning of your name? What's the meaning? Jane or the son? No, the son name. Where it used to be. Now tell me a bit about yourself. Okay, my name is Jane. Mm. I finished from Federal Technique Oko. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. All right. So I read food science and technology. Hmm. Now, yeah. now wh when did you decide that, okay, I want to be an event planner? Oh, okay. I think when I started volunteering. Okay. So because we do a lot of planning behind the scene, a lot of behind the scene. I was like, oh, wow, this is actually nice. And because people just see the aftermath of like the D-Day mm. paparazzi, but we do everything behind this. And like, oh, this is nice. I, I can actually pick this like I had interest. Mm. So in volunteering, I actually go for the logistic department because that's okay. where the whole planning take place. How long have you been an event planner? Oh, uh, I started 2019. 2019. Yes, I started 2019. And you've, you've been doing well for yourself. Yeah. While you were in charity, you were in school then, right? No, I was done. You were done? Yes. When did you finish? 2018. 2018. That's quite a long time. Okay. That's anyway, quite a long time. Now, how since you started as an event planner mm -hmm. tell me how happened the journey been it has been just like a roller coaster go down yes go, sometimes get, yeah. Yeah. because first of all you need to get people trust mm -hmm. because they're giving you their money mm -hmm. so you need to get people trust you need to get referrals and referrals help and trust and once you are able to deliver on a job that is just it. While growing up, have you always wanted to be an event planner? Or it was just something you realized probably later, later in your life? No, I've actually I've actually been in that setting of trying to fix things for people. Mm. So I think that was what better did. Like I actually I I'm all okay. Are you fine? You can do everything. Because then in school, when we are going on holiday mm. and this person is crying, ha, huh, my my wife, I can't find my wife, I can't find my socks. Mm. I literally give them my stuff so that their wow. mom don't beat them. And I go home with empty box. Mm. My mom be like, I don't understand. Like, will I keep buying you things every every time you go to mm -hmm. school? So I've literally tried like, as in want to just make people happy. And I think that was the reason why I went into volunteering too. That better. So the while planning. you were volunteering, you there was no money in, in, and that's a uh, among of what you're doing there was no money yeah volunteering is uh, i think you, you do something for free for someone mm. so you're not expecting something in return the only thing is you learn you get experience when you volunteer you, so how yeah. long how long were you volunteering before you stopped you decide to start making money from it or are you still volunteering yeah i am still volunteering do you dates. have a, um um an event planning you know do you have that's a niche for yourself do you have something that you can actually call your own yeah. You have something. Yeah. Now, if I bring an event to you okay. at first, now what's the first step you take before you start organizing that event for me? Okay, so if you bring an event, what event is it all about? Is it social? Is it corporate? And what the target audience? Hmm. So that would actually determine, okay, how we are going to go about it. Hmm. So if it's a corporate event, we know we are targeting the people in the corporate sector. So if it's probably a wedding, birthday, you know, it's a social mm. event mm. and your budget also. Now, how do you work with probably I want to host an event and I tell you, OK, the budget I have is about 200, let's say 150 to 200,000. How would you work that's on my budget? Okay, so what is the number of your guests? Problems. What number okay. of guests are you expecting? First, that's what you look at. Yes, out. then your location matters. 
when I mean location, I mean if you are actually having an event on the island, your four feet one fifty will not do anything. Why? Okay, fine. So probably you will need you'll be needing a hall, mm -hmm. and all on the island are seven fifty, hmm. five hundred, six hundred. So it depends on the location and your number of guests. Really? Yeah. So that's how it works. Yes. Now, as an event planner, which of the job are you into? Do you just supervise or you are into the creative, the catering aspect or the decoration or which are you involved in? Okay, so I plan generally and I do deco. So you, you, you call people to come and assist you and you get to pay them? I do deco myself. Yourself? Yes, myself. Okay. Then I get I have vendors for the catering, the cake. Then I ushers are for me. My ushers and um, deco, I do myself. But other parts, I get vendors. Now, how do you handle difficult customers? Mm, okay. Because um... there are some that will call you for their events. And after doing this, that shouting, I don't understand. How do you make use of money, money, hey, all those kind of things? So how do you the point them? is you start, you handle customer from the start. How? If I have a conversation with you, I will know the type of customer, the type of client you will be. If you're going to give me headache or not. Hmm. So my first meeting with my clients, we give me, okay, this is actually who I am working with. So I will let you know from the onset. You know, some person will be like, okay, fine. What this is what I have. Let's say, okay, deco. I have 200,000 uh, 200, for deco. Mm. And we both know it won't do nothing. So I'll actually let you know this won't work. So it's, it's better you don't get a client than getting a client and having issues at the end of it. Because client satisfaction matters a lot. So how would you get to know that these clients are going to be disturbing? Because I don't understand. They okay. come to you. Mm -hmm. At first, they're coming on a neutral ground. So how would you be able to detect that these people are troublesome? Okay. When, you know, you do break down. Okay, mm -hmm. I, this is what I want to do. Okay, we, we do break down from the catering, the DJ, the MC. And okay, these are the price tags of, okay, their services. And the person, my client is like, oh, no, I can't, I can't afford mm. this. Okay, I'll be like, okay, I'll go back and, okay, she says she cannot afford it. Can you do something better? And I bring back another quotation for, ah, no, 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 I can't, mm. I can't afford this. Then I know mm. I've actually gone beyond what I can do for you. Do you understand? And if you're like, okay, just let's do something. So I'll truly tell you, okay, fine. It's not a must, you must actually have everything at your events. Mm. So why don't we take out some and let's have some because in the process of having everything we might actually have issues so can we just do okay now let's just take away let's just do okay you want maybe you want dj and live mm, band okay mm -hmm. let's just do dj let's take away live band so we are i'm actually <laughs> cutting cost for you okay but you say no i want the two yeah, hey, yeah. yeah, problem. <laughs> problem yeah so what general step do you take when something at your events doesn't go according to plan Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. It happens. It happens. That's why you just need to get um, a plan B. Hmm. It happens, especially with the vendors. It it happens. So how are you able to go about it? So the thing is, you have you start planning on time. Okay. So when you have um, an event for three months, you start planning on time. So you have your vendors on time. And another thing is you don't tell somebody, oh, I have this event for 15 and go to sleep. Okay. I won't lock down your dates because I have not gotten any commitment from you. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So for any event planner to lock down your dates or vendors, they must have at least 30% commitment from you oh. in cash. Because I can't clear my date for you and at the end of the day, you tell me, ah, oh, something came up. I I'm sorry. I've actually lost the money for that day. So once you give your clients thirty percent, and now use familiar faces, faces people you've worked with before. Even if you want to bring somebody new, it mm. should be what you know you can manage mm. if something occurs, mm. not the major. Like I, I, I have a caterer I use, so I tell her like way, way, way before time. Mm. So even if I'm going to, I actually if I start going to look for another caterer, like that is food for crying out loud. Mm. So you need to be very, very careful. So you make sure you. You do a 30% commitment to all your vendors. With that, you are actually okay. We are doing this job. Okay. But you don't do commitment with your mouth. Okay. Mm. Now, um, during the event, have you ever encountered any problem? Yeah. I think the problem is actually probably from the hall. Hmm. That's the hall management from the hall managers. Maybe probably their lister goes off. 
the generator goes off mm. and every, everywhere goes totally dark. And how are you able to manage that? You just need to run, run around. Okay, what is happening? <laughs> the, you understand? Because the AC, everything, okay, what is happening? So the only thing is, before that day, you make sure, when you go for hall inspection, mm -hmm. mm. you make sure they run their gen or lista for mm. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Max. Before you drop money. Before you drop money. Because okay. they will just say, ah, everything is working perfect, good. And we anyway, like, that's how they, yeah. you understand? It's so make sure it's, they, everything, their lights are on, the ACs are on for 30 minutes. So you'll be sure that, okay, fine, this thing is actually working. Hmm. But if you go there, like maybe you, have, you just, ah, okay, I'm having a bed day. You go by yourself. They'll hmm. tell you, ah, madam, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Everything is working. Then you find out that on that day, there's a problem. There's a problem. It's a problem. Jane, yeah. tell me some of the successful events you've done so far. All right. I think um, I've actually done, I, one of my successful events was actually my first event. Okay. It was the most stressful and I wasn't believing I would deliver. Hmm. She understand too. She was just like, I think after a volunteer engagement, she said, ah, can you do something for a five years old okay. girl? I said five. I said, oh, I was like, oh, five years, I can. And mm -hmm. she just busted my bubbles that <laughs> I'm using um, this um, cartoon, Moana. Oh, oh Moana's really? team. I was like, <laughs> like, I don't even know what that was called. I was familiar with Cinderella, Snow White, okay. and said Moana that that's what a daughter like, and that's what I'm going to. Like. I, I just said, <laughs> yeah, sure, I can. Moana, you will get it. Okay. So I, I now went and I went on YouTube. I started watching back to back. So I was like, okay, can we just do the picture area where she will have mm -hmm. the cake? Like, well, she said mm -hmm. no, that she's using this um, children playground. Okay. So it's going to be a full set of. I was like, oh, hala. I said, okay, no problem, I will. I was thinking, how do I do? She said, even the ushers will wear this, you know, this Moana. Uh -uh. I'm like, I was just like, okay, no problem. I sat down, I was like, what am I going to do? Like, this woman just came all of a sudden. Hmm. So I was like, okay, at least let me just do it. Hmm. Let me let me try it. Let, let me not tell her no. Mm -hmm. Let me try mm -hmm. it. So I watched that Moana back to back, back to back, back to back. Then I went to social media. To look for people that does this um children party team okay very well so i mm. got one when they told me the price it was way too much like this man would be like so i went back to other uh, to do the setting because we had to even the boat mm -hmm. was there the woman was like oh, okay no problem that's what she wants anything just let, let us have that okay so i i worked with them they were actually the one that saved me that day Wow. Because they did the whole thing. They had, I said she actually want practically everything in that cartoon. So they came, we worked together, and the cake and the food. So we had these um, children, candy, flocks, and everything. When she came and she saw it, she was like, you never told me you are this good. In my head, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I said, I said, well, we don't, actually, well, we don't blow our trumpet. Mm, well, that's kind of thing. You take so it low now. I, mm. I wouldn't say, ah, my, just, I said, oh, no, mm -hmm. we don't blow our trumpet. But this is one of many. Oh, market strategy. <laughs> <laughs> she nice one. Said, oh, wow. So this is, that. no, this is lovely. And she had her friends, because she was one of the MD in the banks. Mm -hmm. She had her friends, and I heard this. So that was how, so from there, I got my other job, and I started getting jobs. So it was really tough, but I, I, I couldn't believe I would actually Pull deliver, that off, yes. but I actually did. All right. Yeah. So tell me, what do you do when you feel stressed out during the event planning process? Mm. What do I do? Uh, I eat amala. So you're an amala fan? Yeah. Please give me a high five. Thank you. <laughs> you see, when I tell people that I love amala, I love they will be laughing So at if me. I have amala, I'm good. So with amala, um, all the stress, um, all the stress, like the sight of it alone. So what happens if you don't see amala? Uh, I'll the actually stress continues. I actually look around, <laughs> or like like check around. Uh, Definitely, it comes with stress, but you just need to just manage. You find a way to know that okay, after everything, you mm. will smile. So mm. once you just have that at the back of your mind, you just like it's just for the meantime, mm. mostly for setup. At least for the money. Yeah. When did you start making money? Mm. Is it in events? Mm. Uh, I think that my first job mm. was actually when I made. So when she like, gave me money, we were like, really? Can I believe really she, she actually gave me a check, you know? So when I was in there, like, won't this thing bounce? <laughs> Knowing it's, there's some amount, you should be like, just so much. Mm. Instantly, I went to the bank. I did not even say tomorrow. Street. Street. So I got to the bank like a few minutes to for the like, they said, sorry, <laughs> this is important. It's a matter of life and death. Just allow me. In. 
So when I got in and they were looking at me, mm. looking at the money I came to, I like, huh. you, somebody gave you this check. I mean, like, I don't see my name mm. there, like, like somebody in there. He mm. said, okay, um, madam, you have to come, blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, God, give me my money. <laughs> Transfer into my account. So then, you know, I've not raised, my, I, I, the least I could get was not, I think, 400 and something. So the money didn't enter. Yeah, madam, mm. this money, the customer care, like, customer yes, care, like, we've yes, closed. You need to go through the process. Come so. back tomorrow. I said, no, no problem. <laughs> tomorrow will be here very early in the morning. They actually came back and um, I now did it. So when the money entered, I like, sat down like, like, this is how, this, this is how it's so happened, small, small, oh, like yes, that. Yes. <laughs> so I'm looking as in, before I could even take money out of it to pay a vendor, I was like, no, <laughs> in my account, leave it. I knew I screenshotted my account balance several times <laughs> to look at it like, so there was actually, as in, I'm actually going to get something like this. Oh in my account, that's, yeah. That's amazing. And I'm sure you're making more than that now. Yeah. And of course, yeah. you're doing well. Now, let's talk about your company. Yes, your Sarchet and Bottled Water Company. Okay. Your factory. Tell us more about it. Yeah, I think when I finished school, that was actually, I think that was, should be my first job. So the family friend, hmm. he does um, set up for, he set up factory hmm. for people that wants to do that business. So he came visiting one day and was like, ah, you are done with school. I said, yeah. I said, okay, there's this factory. Maybe I hear factory. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this factory just come around I said, okay when i went i saw the way he was actually setting up the search so i i got interested mm -hmm. so i was learning so we went through the navda procedure and everything so it was fun mm -hmm. and when we finished setting up that particular factory mm -hmm. the, the, the owner of the factory is actually not in nigeria she you know now wanted to give it to somebody to manage We're like can you manage i said yeah, no, i don't know Okay. Anything said I'm here for you. Anything just wow. let me know. So I took I took up that job and I run it for six months. Then Duma was like, she wants to lease it out. I thought mm. I cannot do lease though. So that I'm collecting my salary every month. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was like, no, now just try it. At least anything. So the woman now said that she wants to lease it out. And I said, if she calls you, let go for the meeting. Let her know that without you, the company will fall. Yes, yes. And if she's giving you a high price for you to be remitting every month, tell her this is what you can do. Mm -hmm. You know, after when all those encouragement came, I met Duma. Duma and I said, I'll be doing 250. And he told me the least you can do is 150,000 okay. there. Right. So no more, no less. So she said to me, I said, ah, No, I can't actually pay her that. I did. She said to me, and I now said, The first part of it is I actually bid for 130. Wow. So she now said 130. Okay, let's see it. Hmm. So. I actually gain experience there. Now I can set up. Like if I, I think if he gets a job, like he do have several jobs. Like okay, Jane, just do this one. So I'll just go down. Like, okay, and do the follow the procedure, the teaching, and everything. And we, we do the setup because you need to check. Okay, what type of water is actually in that environment? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I wonder what kind of water that they use to make. So you they... treat your water. That's at times some water smells. Hmm. What of those that have and tests? It's like? just because it's because of the screening process. Like when you check, okay, this is the type of water they have here, then that will know the treatment that the water will pass through before people start drinking it. So okay. if you're treated, if, if you didn't get the type of water there and there's no proper treatment, the water will smell and it will have this and you will lose customers. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. So nice the water treatment is actually the major. And you know, in what happens is that there's no customer. Of anybody, course, any, yes. any water that you see, yeah. that you buy. buy. The point is, once the water does not have smell mm. and does not have taste, you are good to go. What's like the you name of your pen, water? Pen, 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 What's the, the name? No, I don't have. I run for people and I set up. Okay, you don't have. No. Do you hope to ha have yeah, some there? in future. Hmm. Yeah, because setting it up is actually not a day job. Okay. The money involved. Because of those machines are very expensive, mm. and now now that does not take semi auto machines. You know before okay, they yes, were doing yes, yes. semi auto mm. where people would fill the bottle manually. Okay. But now before now that could come and give you a registration number, you have need to have your machine fully automated machines. Hmm. So and that machines are roughly nine million. Wow. So it's not, yeah, like the full auto for bottle. It's close to nine million. Yeah. Anyway, we you we've, someone would actually um we actually recover the money because yes, everybody because takes water. water. So know? the little you don't make sales is during the raining season because mm. people are not tasty. They don't take water that much. Wow. But during the dry season, you make sales. Okay, hey, yeah. that's nice. You're really interesting. Thank God, you. you're interested. Now, aside of the things, all these things you do, what else do you do? Okay, I I volunteer a lot. Hmm. Like as a volunteer, tell me your experiences so far. Hmm. I, t I tell people that where I have gotten in life today is by volunteering. Hmm. 
because volunteering give you access that you would not in your wildest dream mm. get because you because you get imagine when you are in an event and you are a protocol officer to the md of access bank mm. on a normal mm. you won't have that relationship course, with him yes but because you're volunteering, you're a protocol officer, you handle his phone, you have access mm-hmm. to him for that whole day. Mm-hmm. And definitely you should make use of that opportunity. Of course. So yeah. it has made me, I've actually learned a lot. I've, I've actually been on different platforms via volunteering. Like, mm. it's one thing I tell people, if you want to, if you have the money, mm. you have the connection, mm. you're good. But if you're still trying to find your feet, try to volunteer. Okay, yes, volunteer is because key. Because it gives you assets. And you learn a lot of things. Like, I didn't go to any event planning school. So people would think maybe I went through one event. Mm-hmm. I didn't go to any event. I learned event planning by volunteering because I'm mm. always at, in the logistic department. Mm-hmm. So I didn't go to, I didn't do any course on. So when I tell people that I did not do any course on event planning, they think maybe I, I don't want to show them way. Like the no, way, they'll yes. show me the way. They'll mm-hmm. think maybe I'm trying to hide something. Mm-hmm. But I, I did not. So I learned everything. It give you assets that you meet people that you wouldn't like it you take you places and the funny part of this is when when you can maximize that opportunity mm-hmm. you know some people when you see a celebrity you do pictures mm. picture does not add to mm. my bill of does course, not money in my yes, account so yes. the only thing is i actually try to get access to you and maintain that relationship mm. so aside doing the pictures if i put it on social media page i might get 200 mm, likes that's, that's all likes, yeah. that's but you maintain things. the relationship so you can get more access and you don't even if you get access to you don't put the person tomorrow ah i was the one that um <laughs> sir please you know you go and think what value can i offer to this person to be able to penetrate more further mm, nice because one. All these people, they have the money, mm-hmm. they have the connection. Mm-hmm. So before you can be able to get them to look at you twice, you mm-hmm. should have something to offer. Something to so offer. not saying, ah, sir, eh, there's one time story. Mm, okay, okay. With you. They'll tell you, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, my PA, and you wouldn't go past the PA. PA. Wow. What okay. are your hobbies? Okay. I like um, traveling, mm. I like sleeping. Okay. Yeah. I like the fact that you will. You I said like, it. I, like, I like you even sleeping. said at a point you like eating. Yes, I like sleeping. I like traveling. Okay. You yeah. like and I like gisting. If you have <laughs> gist, in your own <laughs> No wonder our discussion is very interesting. Yeah. But before you go, I need you to say something to aspiring youth out there. All those young ones that are looking up to you, mm-hmm. please tell them something. Oh wow. So it's just um carve a niche for yourself mm. first. Then consistency and hard work. Don't do 100 things at the same time. Be known for something. That's why you say in the music industry, there are some people that they are the go-to person. So be known for something. Carve a niche for yourself. Be consistent and um, most importantly, work hard. Thank you so much. Thank Any you. social media platform so we can actually get to you? Okay, so my personal handle on Facebook is just Jane. I'm going to do. Then social, on Instagram. Instagram still journey gonna do are you effective on instagram oh off and on off and on but facebook okay, yeah kind of okay thank you so much for joining us thank you um, right okay guys this is what we need to wrap up the show it's been an interesting ride all together please if you need an event planner please locate her okay she will give you discounts abby yeah discounts. massive discounts massive dis- just stay how you watch the show but and don't then... send me back to my village ah, ah, ah. No, I trust my audience. Oh, okay. They will not do that. They oh. have money. Okay. They will even top everything for oh, you. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> all right, guys. This is where I need to go. Thank you so much for watching. Follow us on all social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and of course on Twitter. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel at eCampus Television for more interesting content. Now, do follow me on my IG handle, which is at official canvas. So till I come your way again, please stay safe. Bye for now.